So here we have another uh, question related to Boolean simplification where we have to simplify this. So here again we will uh, use the same approach we will keep this bigger bracket square bracket intact and we will open up the, uh, the bracket inside okay and see where we can apply the Boolean algebra rules. Okay, Z equal to A to B plus okay so here it will be A B C plus A C C okay so we know that uh, as per the boolean uh, and rule two boolean same va uh, boolean variables when they are added together it gives us the same boolean variable so here c into c will be simply c so we can write it as a into b plus a b c plus a c okay okay now here it will be z is equal to a into b okay here b is common okay b is common here b is common here and b is common here or another approach is that you can take ac common ac is common here here also there is ac present okay let us take b common first so it is b into 1 plus a c plus a c okay now we know that uh, one or with any boolean variable will give us one okay so here one plus a c will be one so it will be z is equal to a into b plus a c okay so now it will be z is equal to a b plus a a c again any boolean variable added together with the same will give us the same boolean variable so a into a will be simply a so it is a b plus a c or we can write it as a to b plus c okay so again i repeat when i s use uh, plus it means or operation and when i say into or product or multiplication it means the and operation okay so this is the final simplified boolean expression a into b plus c this boolean expression at the top we convert it into this using the rules of boolean algebra okay so here we have another question on uh, simplification of boolean expression so we will uh, simplify this so this is the uh, expression a bar b bar c plus a plus b plus c whole bar plus a bar b bar c bar d okay so here a plus b plus c whole bar this term is different from the other two terms okay here they are anded all the boolean variables they are anded together so in order to make the simplification process uh, a little bit easier we have to also convert it into AND form so we will use de Morgan's theorem here so de Morgan's theorem says that if we have three boolean variables x plus y plus z and it is complemented whole complemented it will be it can be it is same as x bar y bar z bar okay the whole complement of three boolean 
variables that are or together is the individual complement of the three boolean variables and it together so here it will become a bar and b bar and c bar okay so let us do that this will uh, simplify this uh, reduction process so it will be z is equal to a bar b bar c plus a plus b plus c whole bar will be a bar b bar c bar plus a bar b bar c bar d okay now what we can do here is that uh, c here in these two terms a bar b bar is common we can go this way or what we can do in these two terms a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c bar this is common so it is your wish in which way you want to go i will take this two terms and will take a bar b bar c bar as common okay you can also go this way uh, you check how this uh, simplification process goes i am going this way okay a bar b bar c and i am taking a bar b bar c bar common in these two terms a bar b bar c bar this one plus d now we have this boolean or rule which states that any boolean variable or with one it gives us one so here one plus d will be one okay so it is z is equal to a bar b bar c plus a bar b bar c bar because this becomes one now in these two boolean terms a bar b bar is common okay so it will be a bar b bar c plus c bar we have this boolean rule any boolean variable or with its complemented variable it gives us 1 so c plus c bar will be 1 so this will become finally z is equal to a bar b bar ok so we converted this whole expression and simplified it to this this is the final simplified boolean expression okay now i have posted uh, the videos related to the rules of boolean algebra and de morgan's theorem okay so you please check out that videos first i have explained in detail about the rules of boolean algebra and de morgan's theorem okay so this is the whole concept of simplification all you have to do is that you need to figure out ways to make the simplification process easy here so you i just told you earlier that all the terms here this and this they are in and form okay in product form this is the only term which is in or form okay so we applied de morgan's theorem here to convert it into this and form this terms now we can apply the boolean algebra rules in a better way the next step is to identify common terms and fit it into patterns that suit the boolean algebra rules for that you have to be crystal clear about the boolean algebra rules it should be in your mind only then you can identify the patterns and uh, arrange the expressions in that way okay so you need to be completely aware about the de morgan's theorem the application of de morgan's theorem the application of boolean algebra rules okay and then you should identify the patterns and figure out ways how the boolean algebra rules can be applied okay so all you need to do is practice more and more uh, simplification problems then you will uh, get uh, uh, adjusted to used to it okay